Hello everyone, today at Susco Smokehouse we are going to talk about a penil and how to prepare a penil, Puerto Rican style, okay? So, how to make sure you have the crunchiest skin on your penil is all about preparing it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we want as much of this skin to be crunchy as possible. So in order to do that, we're going to start peeling it back from the bottom because any skin that's on the bottom is gonna be in the juices, which will not allow it to be crunchy. So we're gonna peel back this skin off the bottom because this right here is gonna be enough for two people, all right? We want all that skin. Plus, the fat renders down a little bit until you lose some, so peel it all back. Be careful with it. You don't wanna really cut through the skin, but you want to bring it all to the surface, to the top, so. That's what we're gonna work on right now. Okay, so we have the skin is all peeled back. Now you want to keep it attached, okay? Keep it attached near the bone because you don't want to lose the skin. Now, once you've done that, in order to actually prepare this for seasoning, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut some deep holes into this guy. And that's going to allow you to stuff it with your rub and with some garlic. So I'm going to cut Cut the hole like a crisscross pattern, stick your finger in it to make sure you can stick the seasonings in there, okay? So we're gonna do a bunch of them here. That way we can get it all seasoned up. All right, now it's time to season our penil, and we're gonna stick this thing in the refrigerator to marinate for about 48 hours. That's what I like to do with that. So what we have here is a, this is Cisco's penil rub. Now you can season it however you want, but I would suggest that you at least put salt, pepper, and oregano, okay? Those three are absolutely essential. Now in my rub here, we do have those three. I also have some granulated garlic, and um, I also have a little bit of cumin, okay? So I have five ingredients in mine, but do not fail to at least have the three, salt, pepper, oregano, okay? Um, the other thing we're gonna have is we actually have fresh cloves of garlic that we're gonna stuff in there as well, and you need some olive oil, okay? I'm not gonna tell you how much I put of what I put. Everyone does their own thing, but I'm going to take my rub and the olive oil, and we're gonna mix those together, okay? What this is gonna do for me is make me a nice little paste. So we're gonna mix that up into a nice little paste. And this paste is what we're going to actually stick into uh, this bedding and actually rub it all over as well. And it's just gonna be an amazing seasoned shoulder. All right, just mash it up really well. Get all the olive oil to mix in with the rest of it. It's gonna feel grainy. You don't probably don't want it to have too much olive oil to where it's gonna be super soaked. You figure out your mix. I have figured out mine. Now, once you have that, it's time to start seasoning this bad boy. So what you're going to do is each one of those holes that you had, all right, prepare that hole again with your finger, get a little bit of your rub, your paste, and you're gonna rub it in there, okay? You don't wanna put just a big chunk in there all the way to the bottom because that's gonna be a very salty spot, 
But what you're trying to do is take a little bit and you want to rub it on the inside walls of that hole that you made. Okay, once you've done that, then you take a piece of garlic and you jam it in there as well. And that one's done. And you're just going to do that for all of them. What you do with the rest of the rub is now you're going to rub it over the entire thing. Now what I like to do is hit the bottom of the skin first and I just rub some on the bottom of the skin so that's going to season the skin so when it's nice and crispy it's going to have the flavor of the entire thing. So rub that in really well. The, the garlic, and the oregano, and a little bit of pepper. Oh, that smells awesome. Now, once you've taken care of the skin, then you rub the rest of it liberally all over the whole shoulder. She is well seasoned. Now you can cook this right away if you wanted to. Like I said, I like to marinate it for 48 hours. So you can either put it in a pan with aluminum foil. You could rub it. You can wrap it up with cellophane wrap. Um, personally, I like to use the food saver, so I'm going to stick this bad boy in a food saver bag. It takes all the air out, which forces all of the marinade to be really tight around the pernil so everything stays seasoned really well and it's going to it's my favorite way of making sure she's well marinated but you can do it any way you like um, but that's how we're gonna do it and later on we'll show you a video on how to cook this bad boy so if this video was helpful please like and share it subscribe to our page and follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Cisco's dot smokehouse thanks for watching